There are two main political parties in the United States, the Republicans and the Democrats. What is a political party? Why are there only two main parties? A political party is a group of people who have joined together because they share common principles, common beliefs, and common values, and they seek to control government by winning elections. Members of a party work to convince the government to adopt laws, regulations, and programs which reflect their party's beliefs. Political parties have a long history, both in the United States and in other countries as well. The United States has what is known as a two-party system. A two-party system is a political structure in which only two political parties have a genuine chance of winning elections. However, it does not mean that only two parties are allowed to exist, as there are numerous other smaller parties. The two-party system developed in Great Britain. In the latter half of the 1600s and throughout the 1700s, two political parties, the Whigs and the Tories, emerged and established themselves as the dominant parties. This long-standing tradition of two main parties probably led to the eventual adoption of a similar system in the United States. Initially, the Founding Fathers intended for the American government to avoid politics. In fact, in his farewell address, George Washington warned against the existence of political parties, suggesting that such organizations were the enemies of government and would only distract government from its intended purpose. However, Early political disagreements gave rise to the Federalist Party and the Democratic Republican Party. Since that time, the United States has nearly always had two dominant parties. Currently, the two main political parties in the United States are the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Every political party has what is known as a platform. A platform is a public statement of the party's main beliefs and guiding principles. Each of the stated principles of a platform is known as a plank. Party platforms can be rather lengthy, with modern parties having hundreds of planks. The party will adopt or update its platform every four years at the party's national convention. Political parties serve a wide variety of purposes. One of the most important functions a party serves is to nominate candidates. This helps a voter narrow his or her choices. Instead of voters studying a potentially limitless field of candidates, each party selects nominees. This allows the voter to focus attention on just three or four candidates and make a more informed decision. Another function of political parties is to inform voters. Whether it's through local, grassroots involvement such as letter writing campaigns, or party leaders speaking on television, parties attempt to let the general public know what's going on. This could also take the form of passing out flyers or pamphlets, or staging a large protest rally. The party that is in power can also set the agenda. This means that the party leaders will establish a course for the nation to follow. Whether it's a good course or a bad course would likely determine how long that particular party stayed in power. One final function of political parties is to serve as a watchdog. Both parties do an effective job of watching the other party to make sure they are doing the things they are supposed to. If one party becomes corrupt, the other will surely inform the public. So, even though the Founding Fathers did not desire political parties to exist, they will surely continue to be a part of the American political system for years to come. <laughs>